I want to call your attention to one of my great, my favorite theologians, and that's Samuel Jackson in the movie Pulp Fiction. And he talks about, you know, he had just dodged bullets, literally dodged bullets. And he talks about whether this was a miracle. He's debating with his friend whether this is a miracle. And he says something, I'm going to butcher it a little bit, but it, this is more or less what he says. He says, look, whether this is an according to Hoyle miracle is insignificant. You know, whether God finds your car keys, whether God does this or that, that's not what matters. But what does matter is that I felt the touch of God. And in that moment, as much as the world was swirling around me, I felt the touch of God. And I think there are so many ways, big and small, that we have an opportunity as people of faith to get out there and to remind people that while it sometimes seems distant, and while faith is not top of mind for so many people, the touch of God is everywhere in our country. We just have to look for it, we have to pray for it, and we have to make sure our fellow Americans see it. So I want to thank you for being a person of faith, for living your faith, and for getting out there. And, and, and let me just make one final observation here, which is, look, this, these are the first public remarks that I have made since my running mate was nearly assassinated for the second time yesterday. And President Trump, I was actually sitting at home in Cincinnati with my six-year-old, seven-year-old, and uh, I get a phone call, and it says Donald J. Trump. So I answer it, and he says, J.D., you're not going to believe this, but they tried to do it again. And I said, I said they, no, they didn't. You're, you're, you're joshing me. What, what's going on here, sir? And he says, no, I, you know, I was playing golf, and uh, the Secret Service found somebody who was trying to shoot me. And I say, oh, my Lord, sir, I'm so glad you're okay. I mean, are, are you doing okay? Are you not just physically okay, but everything's fine? He said, yeah, I'm doing fine. And this is just who Donald Trump is. He said, you know, I'm, I'm a little mad because I was about to make a birdie putt on the sixth hole, and they wouldn't let me finish. <laughs> and the guy's literally like, this happened. I mean, he calls me right after... This is 10 minutes after, and he's, he's pissed off that they won't let him finish his birdie putt right after they found a guy with an AK-47. But by, by the way, that, that is kind of the guy that you want to be president of the United States, right? Who's phased by nothing, who's telling jokes afterwards. If you tell the American people that this person is the end of democracy, if you tell the American people that this person needs to be eliminated, most of them thank God, are going to ignore you, but some crazy person is going to take matters into their own hands and actually listen to the crazy rhetoric that you're putting out there. But you know the big difference between conservatives and liberals is that we ha no one has tried to kill Kamala Harris in the last couple of months, and two people now have tried to kill Donald Trump in the last couple of months. I'd say that's pretty strong evidence that the left needs to t tone down the rhetoric and needs to cut this crap out. Somebody's going to get hurt by it and it's going to destroy this country.